What's up YouTube? This is my uh, Blackwing Decro file for the September 1st format coming to you guys on September 1st for the new band list. Uh, my local is Heroes Collectibles. Uh, if you're ever in the Houston area, come check us out. Uh, held the September 1st band list tournaments um, all weekend this week instead of just today. So they did it Friday, Saturday, and they're doing it today. <clears throat> so they just bumped it up a couple days early just like the YCS. A lot of fun. Haven't really entered a tournament per se in a long time. Uh, and I like this new format, so I tried it out. Uh, Matchups. I was playing Black Wings, obviously. Um, mainly because it's the only deck I have 100% finished at the moment for the new format. I have a lot of decks in progress, but none of them are 100% finished. Uh, so this deck is amazing. Uh, I did get sacked second to last round, and that drop me out. So my matchups were um, first round I played my best friend. Uh, believe it or not, we've been playtesting the... God, the, I love how that works sometimes. So first round I played my best friend, uh, WBA. Uh, I've posted links to his channel before. Really cool guy. Go check him out. Subscribe. He's, got a fun, he's only got a couple videos, but they're pretty funny. Yeah, I played him and the th <laughs> he was pissed. I was kind of aggravated, but he was pissed because not only had we been playtesting for the new format since they announced it, what, two, one, two weeks ago? Um, but we know each other's decks inside out, and I actually built his deck for him, card for card. So I had a little bit of an unfair advantage because he did know my deck, but I built his deck. Um, so, yeah. I played GB's. Um, I won game one. Game two, he sighted in uh, three cards. I think it was like Divine Wrath. Um, that was a friend of ours. Told him to run that. I told him to run Trap Holes inside. I think Trap Holes is going to be really good. Divine Wrath and GB's is actually pretty good. It's like running uh, five uh, chariots. Um, yeah. Uh, he I won game one. He got game two. No. Yeah, I got game one. He got game two. Or vice versa. I think I got game one. He got game two because he sighted in. Then game three, I top tech to BLS for game. I still think that card's stupid. <laughs> uh, round two, I played. Um, what did I play? What did I play in round two? Wasn't a mirror match. Round, oh, round two was a mirror match. Round two, I played Black Wings. Uh, the guy was stacking. He got kicked out of the tournament. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you don't open up two to three whirlwinds every single game along with a Shura and th three Kalutes in hand. That just doesn't happen. <laughs> um, he also was stacking my deck. Uh, a couple people called him, so that's, he got kicked out of the tournament. I really wish that we could have gone back because he didn't get kicked out until the next round. So, yeah, I unfortunately lost that one. I should have had it, but again, he was stacking. Round three, I played uh, Agents. I 2 0 him. Game one, how did I win that one? Game one, I won with Armor Master. Um, Armor Master's a tank. Uh, he was playing TG Agents. Round two, he sided in three cards. Uh, heads up, guys, DD Crow hurts this deck. DD Crows, I think, is going to be a really good card for side this format. He sided in 3 DD Crow. It shut me down for like four turns. Uh, <laughs> DD Crow is kind of annoying. Um, but I just did the grind game and I ended up winning that. So I won the grind game and that, and he just couldn't top deck. So <sighs> round four, what did I play round four? Round four, I played Dino Rabbit. Um, the deck's not good. I will I will go ahead and say that. The deck is not good. Everything in the deck that was playable got hit. To one or none or blah, blah, blah. The deck's terrible. I This guy was not stacking because he's a friend of uh, my friends and I don't... I know he doesn't stack. He tops a lot of this tournament. He's a really good player. Uh, he just... He outmaneuvers your opponent and he plays the deck a little bit weird. Although, okay, game one, I got it really easily. Game two... Uh, he pretty much opened up Rabbit five back row, so I <laughs> I lose. 
Um, Logia plus five back row is kind of annoying first turn. Game three, it was a really tough match. <laughs> really tough match. And then f we, I had like one card on field, one monster. He had one card in hand, no cards on field. He top decks a dark hole. Yeah, yeah, he top decks dark hole for game. Fuck that card. <laughs> so he plays dark hole and summons tour guide. Summons another tour guide and just swings for 2k because I was at like 18 or something. And then like, I had to drop um, because I was not gonna top no matter what. So on to the deck profile. So uh, for monsters, I'm playing two Sirocco. Can, hopefully y'all can see that. I'm trying out a new camera angle, so I don't know if it looks decent or not. Leave a comment below if you like that camera angle. Two Sirocco, uh, it's a great in the mirror match. Uh, you just gotta be careful that your opponent doesn't econ or mind control it, because uh, <laughs> it can also lose it again. Three Shura, cards a uh, boss. It's your, um, it's your recruiter, essentially. Um, uh, first turn Shura with a Blizzard, and, I mean, a clue in hand is pretty nutty. Three three Blizzard, I mean, three Bora. Uh, I think Bora needs to be in three this format. I've seen people playing him at two, but with Scapegoat and all the token spam, I think these threes are mandatory because you can game your opponent just with this and a Sirocco sometimes. Three Kalut, uh, it's so many honest. It's nutty, and if I was siding, because I never side first couple tournaments I enter on the new format, so I gotta see what's playable. But if I was side, you can side EV and Deck Devi because you can pump your cards up with the Kalud. Only two Blizzard. I did not like three. I have playtested three for a long time. Uh, I've played Black Things since they came out off and on. It was actually the first video I ever posted to YouTube was my very first Black Wing deck profile. You don't need three Blizzard. It's dead more times than not. Uh, Gale. Uh, Gale's Gale. I really wish this would have gone back to three instead of Whirlwind, but whatever. Can't complain. You got your, um, Vayu. I hate this card. Card didn't win me any game. It actually lost me a game in the tournament yesterday. Uh, that pissed me off. This needs to become a Breeze of Zephyr. I'm telling you guys, Breeze of Zephyr is amazing, and it's a, it's a better dead draw than freaking Vayu. Um, if I can, if I ever find a Breeze of Zephyr, this is coming out immediately. I hate that card. And the one of Zephyros, people are like, why are you playing Zephyros? Um, Whirlwind and Bora, enough said. Uh, and Graveyard Manipulation. Uh, for your boss monster, you're playing the dad. Uh, you gotta play the big daddy. Uh, this card's boss. It won me two games in the tournament. BLS, uh, and you know, people are like, what, BLS? Yeah, I opted to play this over Gores, mainly because of Whirlwind. Uh, typically, your opponent's not going to get rid of Whirlwind, so Gores is dead more times than not. They're going to hit your back row before they hit their Whirlwind. Um, yeah, BLS wins games. My friend convinced me to run this the day before the tournament yesterday, and it actually won me a couple matches. So, that being said, I'm playing the 3 Valor. I was playing 2 Valor, 2 Maxi. Maxi's not good in the main. This format, I can already tell you that. Uh, it might be a good side deck card, but not main deck. Three Veilers a must, though. For spells, you're playing the three Whirlwind. You gotta play it. It's nutty. That's all of this really needs to be said about that. Um, you're playing the three Duality. I've seen people playing two Duality, one uh, Cards of Black Feathers. One, I don't have Cards of Black Feathers, and two, uh, even if I did have it, I probably wouldn't run it simply for the fact that um, you have to... Uh, you have to banish the Blackwing first. If it didn't say banish the Blackwing first, I'd run three of those over friggin' Duality. I know you can only activate one per turn, but the fact that it says banish uh, Blackwing first then draw two is really bad. Allure of Darkness, it's Allure, your whole deck is dark, minus the BLS and Veilers. Mind Control, uh, card wins games, uh, that's won me a couple matches, it helped me win a couple matches too. Uh, and then Dark Hole, because it's dumb. Probably the card people hate the most. Uh, three Icarus Attack. This card is the nuts. You open up a Whirlwind, a Shura, a Flute, and this. You pretty much have game, and it's not that hard to do. You play like threes of everything. Uh, for last little bit of traps, you're playing the um, Soul Morning, the Bottomless, the Torrential, the Compulse, as your one ofs. 
Uh, you gotta play them in this deck. Then the, I try. I um, was playing a Tech One Mirror Force. Yeah, you do have the torrentials, but sometimes you need the extra um, spot removal. Um, then I was playing Delta Crow Anti Reverse. Uh, it's Black Wings version of Harpy's Fluster. It's this card. I was um, in one of, in game one of the um, Dino Rabbit matchup. I go summon a Shura with a um, with a Whirlwind on field. Grab Kalut, set a Delta Crow, and pass turn. He goes uh, summon Guaiva, set five pass turn, or summon Thunder King, set five pass. I think it was summon Thunder King, set five pass turn. Uh, in phase Delta Crow, and he just scoops. <laughs> And then my tech card that was the MVP of the deck, and people were like, what the fuck? Did I just see what I thought I saw? Uh, this card's the nuts. Um, Seven Tools of the Bandit. I've always loved this card in my counter traps, counter fairies, in my old days when a Heavy Gauntlet was gone and True Nade was back. This card is going to be good, I think, this format. Start picking these up, guys. I think this card's going to be a staple again. Uh, cause it's a generic trap card, it doesn't let your opponent plus with, I don't like Dark Bribe, because I don't want my opponent drawing, um, not in this deck anyways, and, cause my opponent would have had game, cause I go, I had nothing really on field, I had a couple set back row and I summon a, my monster and he goes warning, cause he knew if he got rid of the monster I was gonna lose next turn, he, uh, I got flip seven tools, and I proceed to win, <laughs> uh, seven tools is too good. For extra deck, sorry this video is taking a little long. Replay the Mistworm. Uh, there are chances you can make it. There are times you'll need it. I didn't make it once this weekend, but there are times you're gonna want it. And if you don't have it, you're gonna be sad. Crimson Blader, again, same thing as Mistworm. You're gonna want it sometimes. I didn't make it at all this weekend. Scrap Dragon, uh, two OP, one me a game. Only wanna do it once. Thought Ruler, went in it to it almost every game, or every match. Uh, this card is Bananas. It's my favorite level 8 Synchro, it always has been. But the fact that every spell or trap that you can play now targets is ridiculous. Besides like Icarus and Torrential, this card's in the nuts. Um, then you play the one Armor Master. I didn't think two was necessary. Vayu hardly, I hardly ever got it off. I got it off once and it ended up, like I said, it ended up losing me the game. So one Armor Master, one Black Rose. I did not get it off. I summoned it, but didn't get it off. He Veilered, so. Um, Gaia Knight, guy's a tank. I summoned him a couple times. Orient Dragon, summoned him once against the Mirror Match and removed his Armor Master and proceeded uh, to punch it in the face for game one. Uh, this guy, I was citing him because my friend's like, you don't know how many people are playing a, a Synchro Dex. I only played two decks that were only playing Exceeds that I saw. Uh, they are probably playing Synchros, I didn't go into any. Um, but almost every game two I sided into this. Uh, cause I, I was playing Iron Chain, but this card's so much better. Uh, Armed Wing, uh, your go-to level six Synchro. Hyper Librarian for those um, pushes and pluses and great in the mirror match. Cataster, uh, this card is still OP. Carter wins games. I don't care if people say Keeper Boundary is going to replace this. No. They might add it in. This card is still the nuts. This card wins games. <laughs> um, I went into this like almost every match too. Pepper Operative. I uh, went into it once. Zero Fine. Uh, it's our big beat stick. I didn't play Fire Fist. That was the main reason I had this in here. But there were two Fire Fist players. I didn't get to play them. Uh, but I went to it once. My stroke, uh, didn't go into it. Should have gone into it because I misplayed last round against that dark hole because I had a chance to go into this. Uh, but yeah, and then Gaga got Cowboy because Cowboy wins games. That's the deck, guys. Hope you liked it. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Tell me uh, what y'all think will win the YCS tonight, and hope you guys enjoy this deck profile. Peace.